speaking about giving away the goods, looking for an easy lunch opportunity to spoil dad with this coming sad Sunday? Well, Lucky Star has got you covered with a scrumptious baked potato with cheesy pilchard and baked bean mayo. Trust me, he's gonna love it. Yes. Does this sound like something you're it gonna love? It sounds good. It sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. Well, what do we need, Dumi, to put this together? Because you did offer us ease. Yes, Bala, so that's the lovely thing. I keep saying this, that we're keeping it simple. We're just packing it with loads and loads of yes. flavor. Because we know our daddies, we always say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. So we need to make sure that he, not only does he enjoy the food as it goes into his mouth, but it keeps him full so he sits there and he doesn't trouble you and he just enjoys his coffee and whatever drink mm. he's drinking and just enjoys his day. And you know? also, it might be my kids preparing this meal. So you <laughs> so. want like three steps. <laughs> They, they, you know, the ADD kicks in after step oh, number four yeah. and then they you know, just forget that they were actually cooking. So oh, gotcha. simple is better. Well, so then let's make sure that your two little ones are able to nail this every cool. time. Do me, what do we need? All right, so to start it off, we're making a baked potato. So we've okay. got our potatoes that have been made there. We've uh, started it off, we boil them, pre-boil them, and then we put them in the oven. This is to make sure if you're afraid that it might not be cooked fully, then you can at least just pre-boil it first and then put it into the oven with the filling. So you're gonna just cut the potatoes for us and then scoop out a little bit of the potato because we're going to make the filling here. Cool. I'm going to make the filling with our Lucky Star Pilgers that is in sweet chili sauce and then mix that with some of the tomato, uh, baked beans and tomato sauce and then some mayo and some cheese is going to go nicely on top. Mm -hmm. Bake those in the oven and then as they come out, Balissa, you are chopping up the chives for us that are going to go on the very top to make this dish not only look deli uh, um, not only a delicious dish but also make it look delicious. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Right. I'm so excited for it. Um, another thing that's very exciting about this is not only the opportunity that South Africa has to walk away with an incredible Lucky Star hamper, but Lucky Star is also packing in the goods within each can because Lucky Star pilchards are a healthy alternative of protein. It's packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which is good for your heart and it is also good for your brain. Yes, Balissa, and even the, the baked beans are high in fiber, making it perfect for you. So, so those people that struggle with the, with the tummy and mm. uh, constipation and stuff like that, fiber is really good for you. So the baked beans will actually help in that instance as well. Here we go. And hasn't it a uh, protein in it? Is baked beans not protein? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's, <laughs> beans, where, beans that's where are, vegans get their protein. Absolutely. Beans are a huge part and source of protein, I think. Um, a lot of uh, my little brother actually is quite the gym fanatic. Mm. So he's always asking me for tuna, beans. Trust me, I always go to Lucky Star for all the above. On another note, uh, we're also coming through here with the carbs, with that starch, with the potatoes. Now, right. Dumi, oh, first of all, before I get to my question, Stuart, are you much of a potato lover? I love a potato. I love a potato. Potato in any form. In yes. any form. <laughs> couch Give me any, potato. A couch potato, potato, a sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> Couch potato, did someone uh, enter my dad to the chat? <laughs> Just kidding, dad, kidding, kidding, kidding. No, but and on, a, on a very serious note, I do love a good potato, and I took it from my grandmother. My mother, my grandmother taught my mother. And one thing that my mother used to always say to us, Balisa, don't use those potatoes. They would be terrible for frying. Balisa, don't use those potatoes because ah. they won't work with roasting. And I always thought that she's just trying to play me. But Dumi, as I'm growing older, I go into the um, grocery store yep. and I do see the potatoes are now clearly labeled. Correct. Boiling for boiling for roasting, for frying for this. I also thought it's a marketing thing. Like now I've got to buy three different bags of potatoes because I want to yeah. boil, roast and fry. No, no, no. Well, is it true? Want, it is true. It is true because depending on the type of dish you want to make, there's some that actually have a more waxier texture. There's some that have a firmer texture. You also see some, we don't have, we don't get them this side, but there are those potatoes that actually have a thicker skin, which make perfectly for roasting because they basically make sure that the inside is nice and soft uh -huh. and the outside, you know, basically holds its shape. Uh -huh. So you can just do the research, go online, see what kind of potatoes you need for whatever dish and then use it accordingly. But dear sir, going yes. back to our recipe today, yes. may I ask you just to brush the those potatoes with some uh, melted butter and I'm gonna get started with Can I do a dad joke? Okay. Please, it's, it's another another one. we've been yearning for one. Okay, okay. Uh, did, you, did you hear the rumor about the butter? No. Oh no, let me not spread it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Jokes I'm on the spot. Of, I'm one of those people who just, I cannot not laugh to me. Yeah, same here, Balas. I tried to hold back, but I mean, it's such a dad joke. It's a typical dad joke. It is, it is. It doesn't matter how not funny or corny or whatever it is, which actually just reminds me, Stuart, about the joke about the roof. Have you ever heard about it? No, I haven't. Uh, don't worry about it. It'll go straight over your head. Ah, ah. <laughs> <Shh>. Yes, Bally. <laughs> Great comeback.
I like it, I like it. There's competition in the air. I know, I love it for you. Okay, so do me. <laughs> Let me hand, hand over the chives to you. They are Thank cut, chopped to perfection. Ready for you to just assemble. Awesome stuff. So okay. all I'm going to so do I'll brush now, that. after a master here passes over the potatoes, all we're going to do is we're going to fill up our potato, our potatoes to get baking into the oven with some of our pilchards and baked potato. So the lovely thing about this is that you don't need any additional seasoning because the pilchards have already been seasoned enough. The baked potatoes add that additional sweetness that you want into this recipe. And all I'm going to do is add some cheese on the very top, mm. melt that beautifully, add some sour cream, the chives, make them look absolutely amazing. So and that is it. I love the fact that you are just putting the finishing touches on this because I feel like this is what it is all about. When we do think of an afternoon express masterclass it's all about the learning yes. it is all about expanding your knowledge but also expanding your recipe repertoire yes so are you feeling confident that you could try this at home this is uh, this one seems easy enough i won't lie so far both of them uh, yeah. you know i feel like they are at my level they are at my <laughs> level and on that note being on your level you were telling us about uh, an amazing time that you were in durban and yes. you wanted to whip up a gorgeous curry but yes. you also wanted to get the best potato for it and i mean and you had to seek counsel i did i went and I found an Indian friend and I said, dude, why does your curry taste better than my curry? And then he gave me the secret. Apparently, he uses an up-to-date potato. So does that just mean it's, 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 it's expiry it's, it's, dated? <laughs> no, that is the name of a potato. It's, that's a potato. Yeah, you get an up-to-date potato. Wow. And that is what will make your curry amazing. Well, wow. you heard it here potato. first, folks. Make sure you get yourself some up-to-date potatoes. Now, do me when it comes to keeping up-to-date with this recipe. What are some of the key tips, tricks that we have to remember? It is important to make sure that your potatoes are fully cooked because you don't want people cutting into that dish and it's hard on the inside. That's yes. what we're saying. Try and pre-boil it if you're afraid of it not cooking fully in the oven. Mm. And then... Also, just make sure that you melt your cheese not too high. The temperature shouldn't be too high because everything in there, in essence, is already cooked. You just want to melt the cheese, add the sour cream and the chives, and the okay. dish is done. So, Stuart, we did also promise to give away incredible goodies Ooh. to all of our viewers. And uh, one of the key mechanisms is you have to answer a question. Right. What's Can I the ask question? you what the, the, one of the, what the question ask is? Ask me the question. If you were to have anything from this incredible lucky star hamper but namely let's use what we used in Today. today's recipe which was our delicious delicious pilchards and of course our baked beans mm. what would you create if you had a tin of each oh that's a that's that's a tough one what what dish would i create uh -huh. if i had some baked beans baked beans or some pilchard fish you know the beauty of lucky star is that it's a meal in a can <laughs> All you that's need a, is a, a tin opener. <laughs> All you need is a tin opener and some hunger and you sort it. That's my kind of cooking. Do me as an adjudicator. I can't top that, honestly. That, that's a dish on its own. Like, winner, winner. Wow, well, winner, winner. And on that note, I've got some good news for you. We're giving away a 1,000 Rand Lucky Star hamper filled with loads of delicious Lucky Star goodies. All you have to do is hop over to our Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram competition posts and tell us what dish you would make with a tin of Lucky Star pilchards and Lucky Star Star baked beans. Remember to include the hashtag Lucky Star SA. Competition closes at noon on Monday, the 21st of June. T's and C's can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Now, Dumi, we've got our first two recipes done. Mm -hmm. We are gonna dive into a delicious sandwich coming up. Yes, Palace, and there's nothing funny about it because it is a it is a dish for the decades. It is a dag wood, a Father's Day dag wood. And anyone that wants to attempt that, I promise you, you can just go on to afternoonexpress.co.za. But yeah, it's worth attempting. Absolutely. If you do head over to our website, Udomi has detailed quite intently the recipe, the ingredients list, so you can be shopping along to make this incredible magic in the kitchen. And no, we're not talking about the magic that Stuart was trying <laughs> to create when he was back in the day, knee high to a grasshopper. This is magic that you can create with your own pots and pans at home. But more from us when we return.